We're kicking things off with my bestie carving out some time to sit and talk about music and fashion. It's all candid Jaden Smith topping off the latest in the entertainment remix. All right, guys, this is a treat for me. I get to interview my best friend. Just going to show for the record, I have to schedule an interview with this man to even have some FaceTime. <laughs> I'm done. No, no, no. I want everyone to know every time I call Jaden, he always answers the phone. And if he doesn't answer, he always calls me back in a timely manner. I love you, Kennedy. I love you. I love you more. So let's jump right in. I mean, you've made a name for yourself on the big screen in music too, but now you're making waves in the fashion industry. Talk to me about where your love for fashion came from and your adventurous sense of style. I think that, you know, ever since we were younger that I always wanted to experiment with fashion and like wearing different things. I want hoodies that have a message of something that really matters. That's talking about something in history that's mm -hmm. important that affects my life today, yeah. you know? And that's why I do it. And so Misfits is here for the free thinkers, for the people who think differently, who don't fit in, who don't get along with everybody, but have a way of looking at the world that's different. Jaden has always confidently moved to the beat of his own drum. The actor, rapper, and fashion designer just hosted the Atlanta Arts Festival over Halloween weekend and recently landed in the headlines. Jaden walked out of Kanye's fashion show last month after the designer sported a White Lives Matter sweatshirt. What I so admire about you is that you don't just talk the talk, you actually walk the walk. During Fashion Week, you took a stand and walked out of Kanye's show. Why was it so important for you to make a personal statement? You know, like I said, you know, if there's something that I can't stand by, then I just, I can't stand by it. And once again, I'm not just gonna stand somewhere that I don't feel like is representing the culture that I'm a part of. It's just, you know, any anywhere that I am, anything that's happening, if there's something I feel like it doesn't sit well with me or the culture that I'm representing, I just can't be a part of it. Yeah. It's just that simple. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Diggy. Kennedy, I freaking love you. I'm always here for you. I love you. I love you more. Can't afford medicine. She's got blood clots. What if I told you that I could help you? Tyrese, prison bound. The Fast and Furious star is a former Marine going undercover behind bars in the system. The film, in theaters now, shot in a real-life Southern prison that shook Tyrese to his core. She can get back to that little girl. We shot the film inside of an active prison with real inmates. Mm. And so, it's in Mississippi. It was a real reminder that this is what, what's going on every day. And it's painful, you know, to see and witness and experience the way the prison smelled, the, the kind of dark, suppressive, depressive energy that was in there. It took me at least three months to kind of decompress from feeling stuck and, and vulnerable inside of that prison in Mississippi. You're inside the system now, soldier. I could have filmed this in a prison in LA, but when you're in jail as a black man in Mississippi, where it's as racist as it is, it was a different kind of feeling. A different type of heartless feeling. It was, it was very uncomfortable to do this movie. 